Hey everyone! We've been busy rolling out new updates and features to Gravity Sketch in both VR and Landing Pad, and so we thought we'd show you some of the cool new features that we've recently released. Let's start with the VR app. We know that you guys love the reflective materials, and for Quest and Quest 2 users, we've improved the reflective material to look more like what you would see using the PC version. This makes it easier to check surface quality while you design, and make your models look better overall. On the flip side, we also know there was a lot of requests for a clay material, and so now we have a clay material to help you better gauge different properties of surfaces as you model. To use it, just select the object you wish to change the material on, and then press the color wheel button, and choose the clay material on the far right in materials. We know that the environment and materials go hand in hand, and on that note, your environments are now saved from one sketch to the next, meaning that when you start a new sketch, the environment you used in a previous session will remain, as well as the layout of any undocked menu items, helping you get started even quicker. As you design, we also know it's really easy to lose track of time, so we wanted to help you with that, and we went out and built a new clock with reminders on the non-drawing hand. To use it, first raise your non-drawing hand, and then point to it, with your drawing hand, and you will see that you can set some reminders for every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, or every hour. That way you don't ever miss another important meeting, or even more important, dinner. On the creation side of things, let's talk about pivot points. You can now use the precision move tool in the tool belt to set custom pivot points for objects to help make rotating them or moving them even easier. First, open up tool belt. If you don't have tool belt enabled, go to settings, press on the star, and then toggle on tool belt. To enable tool belt or open it up, press the grab trigger and then swipe with your arm. Once tool belt is open, grab the precision move tool here by using the grab trigger. Move the joystick to the right to toggle over to the rotate tool. You will now notice a red cube in the middle of the rotation axis. This is your new pivot point. Move your drawing hand controller close to the surface you wish to rotate. When the move tool gets larger and highlights, you can pull the front trigger on any point and that will set the pivot point on the surface. You can also use the wand and grab the red pivot point and move it anywhere in space. Then pulling the front trigger on any of the rotation rings will rotate the object relative to where the pivot point is set. If you pull the front trigger away from the rings, the pivot point will move to a point along the world axis for symmetrical objects and to the middle of a single object. For those of you who work with sub-D surfaces, especially with connected mirrored surfaces, you might have accidentally moved the surface off the mirrored axis with no way to put it back on the mirror plane. As you may know, sub-D surfaces retain symmetry even when moved off the symmetry plane. While this can be useful in some projects, in others, it might be more important to readjust back to the mirror plane. Well, now you can also use the precision move tool to snap the surface back to the original location where it was created. Open up your tool belt and grab the precision move tool. Then select the sub-D surface you want to reposition on the mirror plane. If the sub-D surface has moved at all, you will notice a small gray box on the controls. Next, pull the front trigger to confirm the surface you want to work with. And then, move the wand to the gray box and pull the front trigger. This will snap the surface back to the original location it was created. Speaking of snapping, you can also now snap control points to splines and to the stage floor, giving you more options for precision control of your curves or surfaces. On the import front, we've made improvements to importing GRS files into other sketches. Now when you bring one sketch into another, the layers from the imported file are preserved and stay in the same order. On the export front, you can now export a lot more information with the FBX format. Keep in mind though, that due to hardware limitations, FBX is only available on tethered headsets and not currently available on the Oculus Quest or Quest 2 when they're not tethered. Now, let's jump over to Landing Pad, our cloud file manager and viewer. Improved caching now means that navigating files in Landing Pad just got a lot faster. And helping you work faster, 
You can now upload entire folders and the structure will be maintained in landing pad. With more speed and more files, we've also now added a new search bar to help make finding files easier as well. And finally, we've updated the web inspector with an all new interface and theater mode for true full screen viewing. A lot of these updates were driven by your feedback, so keep it coming and we'll keep the updates coming. We hope you enjoy these new features and have a lot more in store for you.